everybody, Nay here. And today we're gonna get back into some more of this check ration, this 24 hour ration. Now, as you've probably seen, I've already done the opening and the breakfast portion in a previous video. Um, so today we're gonna do the lunch because I'm hungry, okay? But I wanna talk to y'all about something real quick. Um. This ration came with a lot of sugar. Sorry, had a casualty. A lot of sugar, a lot, a lot, a lot, some salt, uh, sugar-free gum, things like that, an extra tea, an extra coffee, creamer, peanut butter and crackers, whatever. Uh, hot beverage bags, all this kind of stuff. I am making care packages for the victims of something that happened within 15 minutes away from me. A gas line exploded, and it was seen for hundreds of miles. It was so huge. Uh, you can get on YouTube and look up Lincoln County Explosion, and ABC News, Fox News, everybody had it on their TV. This happened a few days before all these mass shootings, but this is kind of close to home to me. So I'm making little packages of coffee creamer, a cup of coffee, you know, a coffee, peanut butter and crackers. These people lost everything but their lives save one person. There was one death. So I'm taking all my extras that I have made up for the homeless and these people are homeless. Uh, they've lost everything. There was so much damage, damage. Just look it up on YouTube. Anybody who wants to send me uh, stuff, I'll make them up myself. Your hot beverage bags, your flaming fresh and heaters, extra cookies or fruit or something that you just didn't like. Uh, beef jerk, anything. If you want to send me anything, my address is on my channel, but it is, but it is P.O. Box 1204 Liberty, Kentucky 42539. I would appreciate any and all donations. Uh, send whatever you want to. Send me just any of your extras and I will make sure that they get to these people because they have lost everything. And I do mean everything. I mean, it melted their vehicles even. It was so huge. Uh, I have a few friends from the MRE community who have told me that they were going to send me stuff. So if anybody wants to, that would be absolutely awesome. I would totally appreciate it, and so would these people. Okay, I'm starving. I have been working on a project. All will be revealed on this project. I've been working a few months on it um, for some very special people. Uh, I will be giving it to them at the meetup, and um, Actually, I have several projects going at one time for several different people. But all, all will be revealed after the meetup because I have been videotaping as I have went along. Not as I have made it, but I have taken video and pictures uh, in various stages. If I had taped all of it, you would be here for a week trying to watch that video and especially... I don't know. I'd have to put it on fast forward through the whole thing because it would take forever. But anyway, uh, so my hands, as you've already seen, I have lost a fake thumbnail. Uh, my hands are clean, I promise, but they are stained and grody and nasty. And because I've been staining wood, I've been painting, I've been gluing, I've been do doing stuff in resin. It's wild. But anyway get on with this review let's get it going okay today for lunch i'm gonna fix me a cup of tea i'm not gonna fix the coffee because mm, didn't like the coffee water is boiling i have chocolate here i have some strawberry jam some of my dark crisp breads now the corn crisp bread i had 
That went to the birds because it was so stale that you just couldn't eat it. It was beyond eating. And this says luncheon meat. Now, on the front of the package, it translated to chicken luncheon meat. Uh, they have on here, I don't know if you can see it or not, pork as well. So, I'd say it's the same label for several different kinds. I tried raising this up, and it was just pulling the whole thing off. Uh, it looks like we have a date of going by European standards, probably February 9th, 2019. But, as you know, as well as we all do, this is probably a 2016. I just saw that. So, I'm not sure what year this is. Uh, this was so graciously donated to me by Shocker71. Y'all go check out his channel. Link will be in the description. Uh, he's an awesome reviewer. He has taken a hiatus for a little while due to his health. Um, he... Well, that's none of my business to tell. But anyway, go check out his. They're awesome. All right, so we're going to stick this in some boiling water to get it heated up. Woo, that's hot. And while we're doing that, we're going to open the chocolate. Now, I have not eaten the other one, but I have misplaced what I did with it. I put it in a Ziploc baggie somewhere and... Chances are my husband got a hold of it. It is bloomed a little. It is dark chocolate. But it's awesome. It's very, very good. Not as good as the Ruta or the Russian chocolate, but still very good. We're going to get out crisp bread here. Let's get our tea going. Now, y'all, I love tea. I do have a little sugar here to put in it. Not a whole lot, but some. I like my tea fairly strong. So we're going to go with probably about five ounces of water, give or take. We'll get that steeping while our main is heating up. This is going to be lunch today, folks. I'm excited. I'm always excited for a foreign ration because you know you're going to get something that you probably haven't had before. Or I say that it's traveling around the world without actually leaving your house because you try food from all over the world. All right. There was no silverware that came with this ration, so we're going to be using our foreignmre.com tactical spork. And my coffee cup is also my foreignmre.com coffee cup. Now, as you see, I had this with my breakfast. And y'all, this is awesome. The closest thing I can akin it to would be fruit leather. The taste of like homemade fruit leather. Um, no artificial flavoring, hardly anything like that. That's what it looks like. Let's give it a taste. And yeah, that's as good as it was the last time. It's very, very good. Um, the dark crisp bread has like a wheaty flavor to it. The strawberry jam is excellent. Excellent. Um, the tea I did not have. And if I'd have thought about it when I did breakfast, I would have put the lemon vitamin drink in some tea instead of having the coffee that tasted like bouillon to me. Um, I had several people in the comments saying that they had never experienced that. But I have on several different occasions. All right, let's try a bite of this chocolate. I can't wait no longer. Nice snap. Good looking hunk of dark chocolate. It is so good. That is a nice, nice dark chocolate. It is sweet, but it has that hint of bitter 
that goes with it. I'm not really sure what percent of cacao is in that, but my guess would be probably 60%. All right, our main should be hot by now. Grab a couple of things to get it out of this boiling water because I have a feeling it's going to be screaming hot, folks. Okay, I have got this out of the boiling water, and yes, folks, she's screaming hot. Let's see if we can get this open without. Eh, it squirted me. I'm burning myself. I may or may not, should have not heated this, but we have, so this is where we're at. Let's see what it smells like. It smells like potted meat, actually. I've never had warm potted meat. It's kind of got the texture of potted meat, like a firmer potted meat. Okay, there's a look at it. Let's give it a taste. That's most definitely a chicken luncheon meat, just like it translated. It's um, got the texture of like spam, I guess would be the easiest thing to compare it to. Um, it tastes kind of like a potted meat only a little richer it's a little bit richer um let's give this a shot on a little bit of the crisp bread man that's good that's very good um Looks like my tea is just about done. Let's give this a shot. And I'm just going to leave the tea bag in it before I put any sugar or anything. We're just going to take a little sip. Yeah, that's finished brewing. So what we're going to do, come out of there. And I recently found out the reason why you're not supposed to squeeze the tea bag. It releases the tannins, which is what makes tea bitter. Okay. I don't know if we get this to read or not. C U K O R by Brands. This is sugar, I'm pretty sure. Looks like it. Mm. Tastes like it. That's a pretty large grain sugar. It's not. Ours is more refined. This is more of a chunky crystal. I like that. All right. Let's get this. Mm, sorry. Let's get this into my tea. And it's so hot, I'm quite sure it'll dissolve pretty much immediately. I'm not going to need the salt, so I will put that aside to um, put in my little care packages we talked about earlier. Right, let's try our tea. Mm, one pack of sugar, plenty. Wish I had a little lemon to go in it, but I do not. All right, just to prove to y'all that these are stains, I'll break out this little refreshing towel. Comes folded like that. It's got a lemon scent to it. Let's move this over real quick. And yes, Messy Marvin has been here. <sighs> I just can't control him. 
And for any of y'all who have acquired a visit from Missy Marvin, I'm truly sorry. Okay. Eh, not very strong at all. It's about like the American ones. However, this one does have a nice, refreshing lemon scent. And as you can see, stains, folks. That's what happens when you stain wood. But, hands are clean. All right. I've tried everything. This was excellent, 10. This is excellent, 10. T, 10. This, I probably won't be able to eat all of it because as you can see, it's a considerable amount. I mean, that's hefty, but I'm gonna give it a shot because it's delicious. Uh, this is a 10, and of course I like the dark crisp bread. That's a 10 too. So that's gonna be all for this review of, I'm assuming, I'm not for sure, I can't get a hold of Shocker to ask but I think it's a 2016 Czechoslovakian 24-hour IMRE. And, yeah, it's it's been great so far. Uh, doing the Czechoslovakian was Karsten Michael's idea. Dude, good idea. All right. Anyway, y'all, it's a call to arms. Send me all your extras so I can get it to these people. Or a whole ration, whatever you want to send, anything would be great. As I said before, my address is on my channel. Thank you very much, y'all. And this is Nay saying, bye, y'all.